I've done a lot in my career. We shed tears, tears of joy. That's a part of the fight game. Blood, sweat, and tears. I must always give thanks to the man above. Always first. Because without God, all this wouldn't be possible. To get something, you have to sacrifice something. And what I did, I put everything aside my whole life. Boxing has always been first. I worked extremely hard to get to this point. And every day I know I'm blessed. I'm truly, truly blessed. And I don't take anything for granted. If you think small, small things happen. I always dream big. I always believe. I believe in my team. I believe in these fighters. My ultimate goal is to become a hundred million dollar fighter. Once I seen guys like Mike Tyson, and I seen it myself with my own eyes. When I seen that Bentley at the boxing gym, and I seen that diamond Rolex, I said, I want that. And I knew what it took. So I know when my opponent is asleep, I'm out there at four or five in the morning, chopping trees, working. To this day, because I can retire today, I'm well off, very comfortable. But I got the will to win. Some say the motivation is the belt. Some say motivation is the trophy. Well, I say motivation is the money for me. Because the money was able to retire my mother, put my dad in a comfortable position. Even though I transcended and changed the sport of boxing. But being a champion is not just receiving a lot of money or receiving a belt. Because I did it thousands of times for free before I got to this point it started by us my team me Leonard and Nicole going downtown in Las Vegas Nevada and feeding the homeless those are the things that they don't talk about about Floyd Mayweather because that's what it's about we give back but we don't look to, to the media to get praised. As long as God know, we're doing a good deed. Because when I go do deeds and I don't glorify it to everyone else, I get blessed when I get in that square circle. That's why I keep winning. The 1996 Olympic Games, the semifinals, I think I was, I was one fight away from the gold medal. I'm glad that happened to me. I think that's the best thing that ever happened to me. Because that right there pushed me. I mean, it just pushed me to a limit that I, I can't even, I can't even really even talk about. It pushed me. It made me want to be the best. We all go through certain certain trials and tribulations in life that we have to deal with, and certain things make us stronger. And in 1996, them cheating me made me stronger. If I, if I had to do it all over again, I say do it the same way. You guys are recession proof also. Find a way, find a way. Know what y'all wanna do. You can be 30, you can be 40, you can be 50. Still, you still got a chance. You got 24 hours in a day. Eight hours you sleep, right? And most people work a nine to five. So eight hours you work. So we have 16 hours. We got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we had, we'll be at night, there's 19. It take you an hour to get ready. So we had 20 hours. You guys cannot spend four hours going to number oh, they lying. Oh, I like this photo. Oh, they faking. Sending photos to other people. Y'all got to get focused. I'm where I'm at because I'm focused. Tunnel vision, I'm focused on what I got to do. You know, this dream that I had started years and years and years ago, you know, no matter what my dad did, you know, because he done whatever he, he had to do to give me the, a finer life, to give me a better life, to give me the best life that he could give me. And everything happens for a reason, even when my dad was incarcerated and he went away, 
I still will hear his words in the back of my mind. Continue to work hard. Nothing is gonna come easy. Every day I say to myself, after my last fight, I say, this is nothing but organized, legalized street fight. I'm able to make hundreds of millions doing what I like to do in front of the police. Everyone sees us on all access or when I was with, when I was with HBO 24-7, they see all the flashiness, all the, the shit talking, the trash talking. I had a game plan. And when I say TBE, it's no disrespect to no legendary champion. Because every fighter that's in this room has to feel that he's the best. If not, you in the wrong sport. If somebody right now in here hit the lottery, the first thing they're going to say is give it all to me. Because they don't know no better. Because rich and wealth is two different things. When you're rich, you're rich for a short period of time. Rich is, is short term. Wealth is long term. You get a, if you can have a hundred million, but if you don't got no game plan, it's gonna be gone. Being around certain, certain individuals, like even being around my being there buddies, you know, every time I got around my being there buddies, I was more like, it's cool to come over your house, but I need a house like this. Yeah. It's cool to ride on your yacht, but I need a yacht like this. Yeah. It's cool to ride on your jet, but I want a jet like this. Yes. And I said, no, I don't want to ride on yours. You show me how to get it. You can't be my friend if you can't show me how to get it. Because once they show me how to get it, then I can install it in my children. So it's, it's about wealth. You know, I'm no longer rich, I'm wealth. Most people probably have a million dollars if their money management skills is right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they they spending the money fast as they get it. You get a couple hundred thousand dollars, you go buy a hundred thousand dollar watch. It's easier to make the money. It's harder to save. You know what's crazy is because coming from where I'm from, we thought all we needed was a million dollars. We just wanted to become a millionaire. That means one million. Until you get it and you realize it ain't enough. We're living in a generation and a time where like people think it's only cool to be a boss. You know what I'm saying? And it is that it's uncool to be an equal partner with somebody. I just think boss a four-letter word. Like what does it mean outside of the action? If you're not doing boss shit, why you want to be a boss? Do you even know what being a good soldier is? Because some people, again, they, they offended by the idea of being a soldier, not me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can step into soldier role and back into boss role at any moment. I play every role. 